Welcome to section 1 of this course. In this section we will unpack the Witty Pro and Witty Sem Pro system and carry out its installation step by step. We will look in detail at the accessories in the bag, the technical features and finally, the configuration and testing of the systems. Let's start. The basic kit of the Witty Pro system is contained in the backpack. This contains the photo cells and all the accessories. In detail, we find the Witty Pro chronometer, two photo cells, two reflectors and four tripods, two for the photo cells and two for the reflectors. Finally, the kit contains a battery charger for the photo cells with all the USB cables necessary for charging and connecting the chronometer with the computer. It is also possible to purchase, as an intermediate time kit, one or more photocells. The intermediate time kit consists of a photocell, a charging cable, a reflector, and tripod. Installing the system requires just a few steps. The system has an integrated radio system, so it has no cables to connect. For installation, the plate located in the tripod head must be removed as shown on the screen. Attach the photocell to the plate with the appropriate screw. Then fix it back on the tripod head. It will then be necessary to repeat the same procedure for the reflector and all the devices supplied. The tripod is adjustable in a range from 42 to 125 centimeters in height. It will be necessary to adjust it according to the desired test by means of a locking system located at the base of the poles. Once all the supplied photocells and tripods have been installed, you can proceed with the preparation of the test. Before starting with the formalization of a test, we suggest that you check or change the preset radio frequencies. This is useful when installing the system for the first time or in case of several operating systems in your testing area. From the main menu, moving with the arrows, select the settings menu. Confirm with the central button and then go to radio and frequency icon. With the number select your desired frequency, in this case one. Now press the photo cell switch on button for five seconds. A confirmation signal will be activated once they enter setup mode and the LED change color from green to flashing red. From the controller select save. Once confirmed, the photocells will give a confirmation sound, the LED will turn green again and they will enter operating mode on the selected frequency. In addition to the Witty timer and the Witty software, the ProMove app can be used to manage all Witty Pro and Witty Sem Pro systems. This app, developed for Android and iOS devices and optimized for use on tablets and smartphones, offers a new graphical interface with many features. By connecting the app via Bluetooth to a single device, it is possible to control the entire system consisting of several sprint gates and traffic lights for training agility, reaction, and cognitive skills. To use Promove, you must download the application from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. After installation, you must complete the account registration process. Then confirm the activation of your account by clicking on the link received by email. Once logged in, the app will be active in trial mode for a duration of 30 days. This type of license allows you to use the app on a trial basis with all its functionalities in terms of tests, systems, and synchronization with the cloud. At the end of the 30 days, the app will switch to the free license mode. This type of license does not expire and allows you to use the app in a limited mode only with Witty Pro and with only sprint tests and without cloud services. If you want to use Promove with all features included, you will need to purchase the Pro version separately or together with a Witty Pro system, Witty Sem Pro, or both. The license can be for one or three years and includes all the features of the trial version. 
You can purchase the Pro license from an authorized reseller directly from Microgate if your business is based in Italy or directly from our dedicated website. Before testing, let us see how the new application is structured and how to carry out an initial configuration. Open the app. The first screen will show the latest version installed. Fill in the sections relating to the username and password chosen previously. For more information, please refer to the previous chapter on downloading and subscribing to the various licenses. Press Login to confirm. After a short update with the server, the app will show a summary screen with the characteristics of one's license, such as type and expiry date, as well as the tests performed and athletes entered. In a first login, these data will show value zero. On the left side, the app presents a scrolling menu with a selection icon for the subjects, with the list of subject previously entered. It's also possible to create more athletes, we will see in detail later. The results menu with the lists of the test performed. On this screen, you can also see the session made. The test's definition with different icon like test list, default list, protocols and path list will show you all the tests made previously. An icon on the left-hand side allows only the tests of a predefined system, witty or witty sem, to be highlighted for easy searching. This menu gives you the possibility to create on the trial and pro licenses versions, all the test and protocols you need. The free trial section allow you to perform a fast test without to select any athletes. The settings menu house the status of connections with devices. Settings icon allows you to configure the app language and some parameters of the photo cells and traffic lights. Through the settings menu, it is possible to pair the devices before testing. Before searching for devices in the area, make sure that the Bluetooth of the tablet or smartphone has been activated. Once activated, start a new search with the bottom right button. A window will display all active devices in the area. Select the desired photo cell. Once associated with the device, select the flag for connecting. The Witty Gate Pro system is now ready for use. In the same way, it is also possible to connect other devices, such as a Witty SIM. To do so, it is necessary to repeat the association and connection procedure previously carried out for the other devices. Once the new one is connected, it will be added to the list of previously connected devices. To connect again, you must just select the desired one. This video series shows how to set up a test with the WittyGate Pro system in different configurations and types. Once logged in, Promove will always show you the main screen. As already seen, this section displays the license type and a statistics about the tests, sessions, and athletes entered. At the bottom, the icon menu provides access to the dedicated menus. In order to carry out a test, you will need to click on the test definition icon. This section shows all the tests created in previous sessions and in the default list screen, all the tests preset by default on the app. In this section, all tests related to WittyGate Pro and WittySem Pro are highlighted. When connecting one of the two systems, for example WittyGate Pro, following the Bluetooth pairing and connection procedure explained earlier, only default and customized tests related to this specific system will be highlighted. The Bluetooth icon at the top highlights will show you the type of system connected to the Promove app. To create a new test, Go to the test list menu and press the icon in the bottom right hand corner. This section allows you to define any type of test. Once the name has been entered, a few parameters will be requested. Device type allows you to select the systems required to perform the test. Test category will be athletic if the WittyGate Pro system is selected. Test type is divided into different categories depending on the type of test to be performed. Basic are tests for timing single athletes starting one after the other in line. 
Multi-start are tests for multi-athletes timing for a maximum of three athletes at the same time. Counter are tests for timing or as a counter of repeated actions, such as push-ups or squats. Dual test allows speed tests with two or more lines in parallel. In this demo, we select basic. Three different types of test can be included in the mode selection. Inline, go and return and shuttle with recovery. Inline allows the timing of a sprint over a certain distance, with start and stop or by entering several split times. The go and return test is basically similar to the inline test, useful for sprinting with go and return even with the use of a single photocell. The shuttle test, with or without recovery, allows you to perform shuttle tests where an exercise is performed a certain number of times separated by a recovery time. In this demo, we will select online mode. A final selection is used to set how the test ends. With number of impulses, the number of installed photocells is entered. The start is defined as pulse zero. The intermediate time photocells in sequential number to be added to the stop time that ends the test. If the test is configured as start and stop, the number one must be select. With end of time, a time value expressed in minutes and seconds must be entered. With number of impulses or end of time, you enter both previous entries depending on which occurs first. On this demo, we select number of impulses and one. Select whether there is a witty pro sem in the test configuration. This specific part will be discussed later. Finally, save the test. This video series shows how to execute a test. There are two ways to start a test. The first is through the free trial menu, which allows you to run a session without selecting any athletes, but in random mode. Select the test and execute test. The second, through the selection of one or more athletes to be tested. Once selected, click on Select Test. In this demo, we will perform a basic sprint test with start and stop without intermediate times. Upon confirmation, you will be asked to name the session. If you do not enter any things, it will be named with the current date and time. Once confirmed, the main screen shows the system ready to receive test data. To start the session, it will be necessary to press Start Test. Sprint times are recorded in real time. At the end of the test, before the athlete changes, you will be asked whether to save the time of the performance you have just performed. In case you are not satisfied and want to repeat the test, you can press repeat. In case you want to cancel the test and move on to the next athlete instead, just press delete. Once the athletes have finished, at the end of the session you will be asked whether to terminate or suspend the session, should you wish to resume later. All saved data will be displayed in the results menu through the display of the session just ended. Clicking on this will open all the results of the tests that have just finished. In the trial and pro versions of the Promove app, all results, pre-configured tests and performed sessions are all saved in the cloud for greater ease and flexibility when using different devices. Through the icons read results you can see all the times of the tests. These results are divided into rankings, split times if present, lap times, and total times in numerical or graphical format.